Hello friends and welcome back to the channel and if you're brand new here welcome my name is Sue and I love to talk all things cozy in indie gaming. Today is a topic that I want to talk about. I kind of got the idea from one of you guys who commented on one of my videos about a Kickstarter campaign on a game that I should try and I got the idea to try to find some more Kickstarter games out there put them on a list for you guys and show them to you here. Some of them the Kickstarters have closed because they've met their goal and then some some of them them have current Kickstarters right now and some of them have upcoming Kickstarters. I will link them all below if you're interested in looking them up. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. The first one on my list today is the one that started the idea for this entire video to begin with. I received a comment from one of you regarding this game and wanting me to check it out and feature it in a future video. I took a look at their Steam page and it looks so adorable and it has a Kickstarter. This one is called Wholesome Out and About. I'm sure that you guys are not familiar with this one, so let me tell you a little bit about it now. Out and About is a cozy life simulator about foraging, community, and food. Explore nature, identify and gather plants and fungi, cook recipes and herbal remedies, and sell them on the farmer's market, all while bringing community together and turning a damaged coastal town into a foodie paradise. This one actually sounds like all the forageable items that you can find in the game are real, so you can learn to identify these plants and fungi in real life and it says that you will cook forage craft explore and build relationships with everyone in the town this game sounds so cute and the name for it is perfect wholesome out and about and you will even learn some things by learning to identify plants in the real world basically this game sounds amazing i love the cartoony aesthetic and i love that everything that you find in the game is based on real life and I love that you get to live out your foodie dreams as well. I am so glad that somebody brought this game to my attention because I had no idea about it. And as of writing this script, this one is fully backed. Um, they have 121,000 donated with over 2,000 backers. So I'm not the only one who realizes the potential in this game. Now all we need is a release date. The next one on my list is a cozy MMO style game that you've probably heard of. This one is called Loftia. This one has been gaining a lot of steam and getting a lot of exposure on YouTube lately. And for good reason, this game looks absolutely amazing. And if you are not quite familiar with this one and you haven't seen anybody talk about it yet, let me tell you about it right now. With the vision of creating a home away from home, our founders embarked on a journey to create Loftia, a cozy MMO where community, friendship, and doing good for the world is at the heart of the game. You can farm, craft, explore, socialize, and build the home of your dreams in a world that cherishes sustainability and community. I am loving the fact that all of these cozy MMOs are coming out. They realize that this is a market that was untapped and they have definitely gone for it with Palea. I know that there are some other ones coming out. In fact, I have another video coming out just about cozy MMOs that are released, are going to be releasing, or are still in development. So the cozy MMO niche is definitely being filled right now. As of writing this script, they are fully funded and will begin alpha testing in 2024 with early access becoming available sometime in 2025. The next one on my list is a first person open world survival game that you can play with friends or alone. This one is called Solar Punk. And for those not familiar with it, let me tell you a little bit about it right now. Solar Punk is a survival game in a technically advanced world of floating islands. Alone or together with friends, you can construct buildings, grow food, craft gadgets and explore distant islands with your own airship. Use sunlight, wind, and water to create an energy system and automate your processes like gathering resources and watering your plants. This one's features include multiplayer. You will also gather resources and build your own home in the sky. You can farm in this one, craft. You will also use sunlight, wind, and water to create an energy system for your gadgets and you will also build your own airship to explore distant islands in the sky. And as of writing this script, they are fully backed. They have 6,312 backers and their estimated time for this coming out is June of 2024. The next one is a game that I have actually featured on my channel before because it is so cute. I also may or may not have a few plushies because they have an entire website set up where you can buy plushies based on characters in the game and all of the money goes to them to help fund the game. This one is called 
Puff Pals Island Skies, a wholesome life simulator game where you can collect, farm, customize, and explore with cute and fluffy Puff Pal friends. From living off the land to building an agricultural powerhouse, grow however you want in Puff Pals Island Skies, discover new places and collect everything you find along the way, dress up and decorate to your heart's content, and Puff Pals, we want you to be able to express your true self. As of writing this, they are fully funded and you can actually pre-order the game right Right now. And like I said, they also have a store full of plushies that you can buy that are absolutely and incredibly adorable that will help support them. The next one I'm talking about is actually one that I found out about on Reddit, which is very interesting. This one is an anime inspired farming sim with RPG elements. It looks super cute and super unique. And this one is called Artisan Story. And if you're not familiar with it, I've got you. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. Aspiring to be the best artisan in the world, our young artisans are opening their own workshop complete with a monster ranch. Tend to your fantasy farm, collect materials and craft recipes, and experience a carefree, story-rich fantasy life. Cultivate unique plants to use your recipes. Take care of various monsters to produce more materials. Happy monsters will produce special materials and unhealthy monsters will escape your farm. The monsters inside all of the different dungeons may have different behaviors. Some are docile, some are aggressive, some are shy, and some will run away on sight, and there are those pesky ones who will try to steal your items. With their favorite food and strategy to calm monsters down, you can persuade them to join your ranch. As of writing this one, the Kickstarter actually has not started as the game is in very early development, but I will link their Kickstarter page below if you would like to follow it, and you can also check out their page on Steam. The next one on my list I actually found out about while I was creating the script for this one because suddenly a whole bunch of people were streaming it in early access and I had never heard of this game before. So I decided to look into it and realize that it was a Kickstarter game and it looks so good. This one is called Chilltown. Immerse yourself in the soothing world of Chilltown, the eagerly awaited sequel to Chill Corner. Combining the best elements of a relaxing simulation and idle game, Chilltown takes your relaxation experience to new heights. Build and develop your own house farm and town, adding a personal touch to your virtual world. Unleash your creativity by decorating both the interior and exterior of your house, making it a unique and inviting space. Enjoy the idle features which provide breathtaking scenes with a relaxing ambiance that can be used as wallpapers or simply enjoyed as a soothing background while carrying out real life activities. Create and customize your favorite music playlist, curating a collection of songs that perfectly accompany your chill town experience. Experience. As of writing this, they are fully backed and they have actually reached their goal within 24 hours. So that is absolutely amazing. People are super excited about this one and you can already see people streaming it in early access on YouTube if you want to take a look at it yourself. The next one I'm talking about is a colony building farming sim that kind of looks like they took Paper Mario and made it a farming sim and it looks so good. This one is called Echoes of Plum Grove. A new life awaits in Honeywood. Build a thriving community that will last generations in this cozy farm simulator. Farm, socialize, make friends, cook, craft, forage, and uncover the secrets of the island. If someone doesn't want to be friends, there are always other means. After washing onto the island shores, you'll find yourself newly minted owner of a humble plot of land. Pull up your sleeves, grab your tools, and get to work building a farm that will not only last a lifetime, but span generations. This one is a cozy farming simulator where your decisions will actually have consequences. This one actually brings new levels of danger to players. With your very survival at stake, you'll have to work your land, fish, sea, cook meals, craft, and forage, and more to ensure that your family makes it through the cold season. And while your main focus should be on survival of you and your family, the town of Honeywood puts on its best festive foot forward with many celebrations taking place throughout the year. And as of writing this, their Kickstarter has not started yet. I will link it below if you want to take a look at it yourself, but something tells me that as soon as this Kickstarter is open, they will be fully funded very, very quickly. I have yet another farming sim that is currently in Kickstarter phase right now. This one is set in a solar punk world, which I absolutely love the thought of that. This one is called Farm Folks. Farm Folks is a solar punk open world life simulator where players can build their own farms from ground up using a 
modular construction system, explore various islands inspired by the archipelagos of Sicily, gather natural resources, and even convert them into advanced technologies. Customize your farm with a painting system that lets you mix and collect berries for unique colors and use utilities like electricity and water to automate farming. With no forceful resting system, players can personalize their character, animal, and farm structure for a persistent and dynamic experience. Get ready to thrive and build your farm and farm folks. This one's key features say that it's a solar punk open world simulator game where you will build and manage your own farm, explore various islands, flexible customization options, and meeting NPCs to complete quests, collect and mix berries to create unique colors for your farm structures. You'll be able to automate your farming with utilities like electricity and water. Everything is highly customizable in this game. There is no forceful resting system, which is always a plus. This one also features multiplayer and co-op capabilities, and you can also have pets to take care of on your farm. And as of writing this, their Kickstarter has not started yet, but I will link it below if you want to support them. The next one on my list is very odd with its description, and it actually gets a little bit weirder still, which I will tell you about in a second. This one has a description that says that it is a roguelike farming RPG, which I have never in my life heard roguelike and farming sim in the same sentence, but I have to tell you something that when I wrote this script, I actually said that in it. And then I filmed another video about games that are coming in November. And I also had a farming sim on there that was not this one that also described it as roguelike. That is so bizarre to me. And I can't believe that there is not just one, but two games that are farming sims that describe themselves as roguelike. But this one is called Grimoire Groves. The witches couldn't wait to finally move to the fabled Grimoire Groves, a forest which, according to old myths, is home to magical creatures and plants. But as the witches arrived to their new home, they immediately noticed that something was off. Only a few plant creatures were still around and the forest spirits were still missing. Though that is a shocking revelation, not all is lost. With a little dedication, investigation, and magic, the witches might just be the ones to restore Grimoire Groves to the lush forest it once was. Master witch magic, grow magical plants, befriend forest spirits, collect craft and enchant all while unraveling a mystery. And as of writing this, this one is fully backed and there is a Steam page if you want to go look at it yourself. This game sounds so good. It's witchy. It's a farming sim. And for some reason, it also has rogue-like elements in it. That is definitely not something that you see every day. Well, we have made it to the end of my video today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And and if you enjoy seeing list videos like this, as well as me awkwardly live stream some cozy games, then you should definitely consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one.